Hey everybody, welcome back. I can't believe Koala Yak didn't get the job done. Like, I'm still reeling from this. I love this team though. I'm sorry, Pillbug. I'm sorry, okay? Sure. We're straddling two different archetypes right now. I mean, this is just perfect. We'll be underwhelming bananas, underwhelming balls. Who knows, man? Take your pick. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. I just squirted myself with my water bottle. How do you get that much torque, man? What the heck are they making these things out of? Adamantium? Stats are always good. Just remember that. Now we got a strawberry. Just got it. I'm thinking. Um, we definitely want to give a strawberry. It's just a matter of to whom. And for now, sure, we'll give it to the Seahorse just because it's likely to be our strongest unit in the future. But don't tunnel vision on Seahorse Iguana. It's not actually that good, I think. Oh my god. We win these. I don't know why I was so scared. In fact, we win these, like, easily. Okay, ride this momentum. Just imagine you're climbing a mountain, you know? We want to keep the torque up. We could hit you with this. This would make our units much... If they combine right now, they combine as a 3-4. If we add this, you become a 6-whatever. So you combine as a 7-4. So it's basically 4 attack for 3 gold. Okay, you know what? I've sold myself. That's better than better stats than we're likely to get out of any foods right now. And for the time being, sure, a 2-5 that buffs unfrozen shop pets... We don't really want a buff um, cockroach. But a 4-5 dove actually kind of appeals to me. Because just because its stats are good. This just makes our, our pivot from cockroach or iguana even easier. Okay, you've got a... Uh, what I imagine is going to be a relatively strong iguana. But now I'm looking at it and I'm like, I was so wrong. It wasn't that strong at all. Okay. Capybara. You're, you've got me interested now. Let's sell the iguana and then put a 4-5 dove out there. I would sell a cockroach and put a, another unit with similar stats out there in a heartbeat for the record. Um, like a 7-3 pug? 5-6 yak? I mean, I think the yak is fine, but... I will still... It moves you forward. No, 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 no. We, we, you're, you're done after this. Roll me again. A unit that appeals to me more. Doesn't exist here. A sweet... A, yes, okay. It's not perfect, but sure. A second four or five dove. And then with limited other options, let's make our seahorse even stronger. So by the time the seahorse gets to attack... It's going to be a 12-11, I think. Nope. Yes. Yes. Unfortunately, the rest of my squad has nothing. <laughs> and I got blown out there. Okay, I don't know. It would be nice to see another dove, maybe. No dove, huh? Doveless? My bloody Valentine? Hold on, though. Uh, now we got a level 2 dove. On faint, give strawberry friends 2-2. Two, two. God, if we'd gotten the eel on the reroll, that would have been sick, man. What about an Okapi? And this, this one's going to throw you for a bit of a loop. What about an Okapi into an endless pivot? Every time we roll, we buff unfrozen shop friends 2-1. The Okapi also gets 1-1. One, one. It's a bit unusual, okay? But so are many things in life. And yet here we are. It's certainly something I've never tried before. Let's let's see if it's got some sauce to it. Like you're going to start me with a second capybara, then you're going to roll me. Do we see anything we love here? Not really, but I mean the stats are very nice. Another O copy, which is actually going to be this good by default. Yes. But then keep rolling. Because we don't need to buy it this turn. 
Not that interested in these. Not that interested in these. Another 6-5 Okapi. Okay, so for now, give me two Okapis. Next turn, we'll roll a level three. Or sorry, a level two. It's strange. What if we added a hamster to the squad now, though? What if, what if we looked at this thing that we got going on here and we said, you know what this needs? It, you know what it needs? It needs a hamster. Maybe. Sorry, my Okapis are stronger. Now, this is a different style. This is Legend of the Drunken Master. Okay, anyway. Um, <laughs> level me. Buy me. Sell me. Buy me. Roll me twice. I'm kind of hoping, I was literally just about to say, I was kind of hoping we could get this Capybara to get to level two and then see if we can't just keep ratcheting up the pressure as a result of this Capybara Okapi, like completely nonsensical synergy we got here. Okay, our bad Okapi died. No big deal. Now, this is a strange one. Is that six already? Level me. Add me. It's the right play. Now give me some sweet buffs. Now I gotta tell you, a 9-4 eel is tempting, but surely we can find something a little bit more interesting than that. I got, I got big plans. Buy this, roll me, and we'll find the unit we want to take next round. Sadly, I don't want to take any of these units next round. They're just not quite good enough for me. I know how that sounds. I've got high standards for what I take out of my shop here, but when you got a, a, an Okapi and you got a... When you got a Capybara, you know, you can afford to be a little choosy. And would you look at that? I mean, I gotta admit, that was a strong team we just went up against, and then here we are at seven wins. Another Okapi. I think we just gotta keep you, like, frozen for a second. I know you're not gonna get buff on the rolls, but, like... None of these. Wait, you buff strawberry pets? I'm, I sleep. The man actually said I sleep. I mean, you gotta come out. Now, how about an 11-9 Triceratops? I feel like that's like where we can sort of start to say, you know what, on round nine, let's not be too greedy. Let's see what we get on our roll. No, some good stuff, don't get me wrong, and we're going to keep that Capybara frozen, but I think adding a, a Triceratops to the squad here is going gonna, is gonna to serve us well. Certainly, we'd rather have a fox than a seahorse <laughs> or a dove. Like the, let's, now, now I'm coming off of my Capybara high, and I'm saying to myself, what, what have I been doing? I've woken up in a haze somewhere. What's going on? I'm losing to a team that is me but stronger. Okay, but our, our HP is still very good. And this is our huge pivot. Buy me? Maybe next round is our huge pivot. Sell me? Buy me. Like, for sure. Sell me? Buy me. I know that we, next round we're going in on the rolls. So we're looking for good foods here. A taco is a good enough food. I don't really care. If you buy a lollipop, it would be okay for me. So let's save ourselves some money next round. Freeze the taco in case you don't eat it. And we've guaranteed... He ate the taco. He ate the taco. And we guaranteed ourselves um, coconut armor on the most valuable unit. Now I got to say, our triceratops... Is not getting the job done. It's not necessarily his fault. Um, we did send him out there with no stats. Except the ones he got for being born. Now, this is big. We could say goodbye to you. Just remember, we're looking for good foods. That's a good enough food. We could say goodbye to you. Do we care about a, a, a hammerhead shark? I don't think so. We just need to see something better than a 15-9 Triceratops. I don't think it exists right here. Sure, I'll hold this. An 11, 
an 11.5 fox so we could get two foods eaten and scale a little better? Sure. And maybe find another fox. Certainly don't need another capybara. Keep in mind, there's also, like, we're doing this in service of the Okapi. We could maybe talk about that Velociraptor. We could definitely talk about that Velociraptor, maybe, like, going off in the future. This is still a really good team. God, the math. Math is a, is a cruel mistress sometimes. And yet here we are, okay. I think this round, we have to accept it as a possible loss. It would be actually great to get a fox to eat a strawberry. I'm going to fish for a strawberry. Like, these are good... It, it, the fishing's not that bad, because we're buffing our Okapi anyway. Holy cow! It got, okay, so one of our foxes is going to get a strawberry, and then the other one's going to get a coconut. Or the, well, no, that one's going to get a coconut, but then the other one's going to eat the orange. Okay, okay. My master plan has kind of come to fruition. Now let's see if there was an error in judgment. Oh, my coconut armor, you piece. Whatever, we still got coconut armor. I'm feeling kind of smart right now. Of course, the problem is if it doesn't win, uh, like now, it's never gonna win. <laughs> I would save one stew for now. Like, it, it's never getting any better than this, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Now, we should definitely just, like, go in on this. Get a level two fox. It's funny. We can at least freeze it. Um, a hawk, I shouldn't have rolled. Let's just be honest with one another. That doesn't make any sense to have done that. I don't think a vulture is the play. Cheese? I'd really rather... Hot dog, is, that's what we're looking for. Okay. So this is, like, this is not a good four squad in the sense that there was no reason for us to have had a four squad. But it's really good in terms of the actual mechanics although i'm not thrilled to see a vulture when i've got a coconut armor i'm relying on to save me now you know what the coconut armor popped and then i'm seeing some spawns i'm definitely seeing some spawns come in here that's okay but um print screen hold on let me move my head out of the way This, I'm, I'm, I don't do this very much. I'm proud of this. Let me get a little print screen. Let me get a, I'm a boomer. Consider your screen printed. I'll put that on Twitter later. And then when I'm at the daycare waiting for them to bring my daughter out, rather than talk to the other parents in small talk, talk about how like Easter weekend went. Instead, I'll just look at the replies to this and pretend like I'm reading a business email or something. Oh, man, it's the perfect crime. Okay. <laughs> so, who would have thought Capybara level 3 Okapi? I mean, I owe a lot of that to the quality of the shop. I think if you see a synergy like that early, you can take. You can take. We probably kill one unit as a result of buying two iguanas. Let me be a helpless piggy. <laughs> That was a fun one, man, because that was a different archetype than I've ever used before. Also, how good is the Velociraptor? Holy cow. We definitely win these. Two Iguanas, I think, is okay in the early game, because anything you move is going to get... Well, okay, four Iguanas is like a gimme, <laughs> but anything you move is going to die now. And if we can move... Two things are going to get moved and then hit for three each. That seems absurd. That seems fantastic. Yeah, that's a good trade. I don't think I'm sleeping on Iguana. I think this is just a situation where we got like the exact perfect Iguana composition. Now we don't actually want like less seahorses. I think you could hear me out. I know we have a sell possibility here, 
But what about three seahorses, two iguanas? We shuffle three things. Every single one of them gets shot for three. I'd rather have you get closer to leveling. And then let's buff you a little bit. So we got nine damage right out of the gate here. Nice toad. No, because we only we only shoot two things. Okay, so it's actually a well, very strong team, by the way. That's good to know. So you hit diminishing returns. Two seahorses is, is the max number to get the effect because otherwise we're just shuffling. Unless one of them was level two, then we could start to talk. But like we're not there yet, so let's not worry about that. Well, okay, let's worry about that. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. You're, are you hearing me? A level two seahorse that'll push the last enemy forward two spaces. Then we'll push the last enemy forward one space. Two units will get shot for three each, but we could add one more seahorse to the squad. Where would it go? A, a, a truly cromulent question that I have no answer to. Level three iguana, potentially. Forget this. I still... Through all of this, okay, maybe I believe in a jellyfish now. But n not by much. I had to think of... I still don't think the jellyfish is that good, honestly. But I'm willing to run it for now, okay? Wow, we still lose this. And we lose to a jellyfish of all things. Can you believe that? Yes, okay, well then, fair enough. Fair enough, I would say. One of these, one of these, one of these. I think you're good enough, but let's get our level first. Just see. It's still only a four or five, man. That's such a snooze. It's too late, I think, to, to go for this capybara build, though it... It seems very funny. I also think the seahorse is soon to go. The iguana is staying for stat-based purposes right now. Um, if you're not leveling anything, uh, you still might as well give a buff out here. Hmm. Zero triggers left this turn. Well, roll me nonetheless. I don't like our future um, outlook right here. <laughs> Holy cow. That is a strong cockroach, man. And yet, we draw. I forgot the toad was there. I was like, we won. But okay, at least we drew. I still don't see the capybara, man. I roll me, and what are we looking for? Sure, a jellyfish. Yeah, okay. I didn't freeze my seahorse last round. I'll live with that. I'll live with that for the rest of my life. None of this interests me. Okay, in that case, I will buy two seahorses. It's worth it. Six gold to possibly have uh, a one-one buff for a jellyfish. That seems it's like the best. Uh, it's the best value you could possibly ask for, right? Yeah, we're not making it through this one. Every, why do I do this to myself? Every time I buy jellyfish, I'm like, don't ever buy it again. And then I just see a situation that looks too good to be true. There's like three level ups incoming, and I'm like, well, you got to try it here. I mean, come on. It's, not, it's just not good. And yet here I, I'm like, now it's too late to sell it. So we got to give it a try. I mean, let's prioritize getting the 1-1 one, one buff on our jellyfish. Here it comes. Well, now the future ones would be 2-2, which is actually kind of sick. But we're going to be lethal by the time this happens. We're going to be lethal by the time this happens, man. Like, we, we don't stand a chance of winning on this, on this fight right here. I think. Probably. That seems plausible to me. There we go. I told you. Okay. New rule for me. I'm not buying the jellyfish ever again. I know they're going to buff it. Be, you know why you know they're gonna buff it? Because I've taken it twenty times and it doesn't do any. It I lose with it every time. Now, do, do I occasionally run into a squad that has a jellyfish and beats me? Yes, it does. It has been known to happen. Um, let's be a cartoony fish like Finding Nemo. Love that guy. Um, but I have never in my life 
been concerned about the jellyfish being overpowered versus like a vulture or a velociraptor or a fox or a, a panda lion combo, you know. Okay, we don't need to purchase the strawberry yet. It's an interesting idea here. Why not? Um, we don't want to give the cockroach any permanent buffs. We can give it temporary buffs via the bird if, if such, if such a thing tickles your fancy. I just, I feel like the one one buff you get from a jellyfish is just so useless. And I know you're probably saying yes, so why do you keep buying it? It's like the 10th time you said it. I don't know, because it's seductive. To have the chance to get a trigger is seductive. I'll accept you into my heart, okay? I'm gonna buy you. I'm gonna sell you. I'm gonna sell you. Knockout. Push last enemy to the front. I'm interested in giving this a try. Give me a mouse. And you know what? A salamander is a great kicker. If you push a toad to the front, I'm going to do what Adam Sandler says he's going to do in the movie Uncut Gems. I can't say it on YouTube. I'm going to steal the Declaration of Independence. That's right. Okay, we draw. That hurts me deep inside. That also happened to Adam Sandler in Uncut Gems. I'd recommend seeing the film. It's a good one. You guys leveling up means nothing to me. We spend six gold to get one extra apple and a level up. And then we get one gold in return. Check this out. Look, when I go unorthodox, it's when I'm at my best. Three two gold apples. I love that. I love that for me. Now roll me. We're gonna. <laughs> okay. Um, we're gonna start to look for some start of battle effects. If our salamander hits level two before it starts getting any buffs, that's fine for me as far as I'm concerned. We've we've wasted less. Hold on. The donkey is going off. The five squad victory. God, a salamander would have hit the spot, man. But check this out, okay? You ready? I don't know how long the donkey's going to stick around, but for now, we're running it. You're a start of battle effect. I also purchase one cassowary because it gets a guaranteed buff. And then we look for a second. We don't get one? That's fine. We still would love a level 2 cassowary to possibly scale it up twice as fast. Why do I have a woodpecker shooting my own units? I still like my donkey at the front, but I don't think my woodpecker should be shooting my own units for no reason. Hold on, that's insanely pog. We've got a very well-balanced team here. It's doing something. It's doing work. I don't care for these. I care for you. You're like, just in case we get another cassowary. Level 2 donkey. Works two times per turn. Little copium, but that's like a, the ultimate you're saying there's a chance. I'm still shooting my own units. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, I guess. Hold on, it's about to be broke, I think. Or is it? No, 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 because it's going to move you to the front. Then I'm going to kill you, and then it's going to move you to the front, and then I'm going to lose after that. But like prior to that, like that looked really cool. It looked like I was doing something smart. Get gone. Start of battle. Get gone. Start of battle. Get gone. Start of battle. I'm still happy you got the strawberry, to be honest. I feel like maybe a cassowary doing double damage once wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I think we almost always want you to shoot the front unit. Even though we also have been loving what our donkey's been doing, it can still do that from position two, probably. It kills their mantis? It, it, no, it doesn't kill their mantis. That's okay, though, because we're moving their toad to the front where he's not going to get to do any more work. And then we're going to we're gonna draw, we're going to draw, and that's okay. Because one day we're going to get a level two salamander or a level two cassowary. And I'm going to be so happy when it happens. Like That's why I got this strawberry frozen for so long. Gosh!
Are you sell a 4-7 for a 1-1? One, one? Probably not, huh? You buff strawberry, friends. Holy cow. Hold on. Sell me, buy me, and then get ready to buy the strawberry next time. I'll, even, I'll buy two strawberries. What are, we, are we on round eight? This doesn't feel good enough for round eight. I feel like we've dipped our toe in many different segments of... Uh, 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 excuse, three pelicans? Holy cow! Note to self. Three pelicans plus one strawberry um, can create the most frustrating team to deal with of all time. Just a little note to self on that one. Why don't you take one of these? You don't need the cheese so much, man. You need one of those. Now, I don't, I don't know where our salamander's going long term. But if we're keeping him, then it has to go through that. It seems way too slow. And our donkey is not even getting kills anymore. Unless, hold on. I'm still living. Still living. Move the toad to the front. It ended up not mattering probably, but it feels good. It always feels good. I think that was just an underpowered squad. I wouldn't read too much into that. Buff your salamander. I'd like to see more shoe bills, please. I guess you're taking a buff, man. Go for it. Do we really want to give you a green pepper at 2 HP? I don't know. With no other options? Sure. What if, what if we get a level 3 shoe bill, man? Right now, he's basically just a penguin that costs us 3 gold per unit to enable. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Dude, Stegosaurus. Just so good. Hold on, it made a difference. A little. We're gonna lose. It's, I'm, I've come to terms with it now. Goodbye. Hello? Can I hit you with something that might surprise you? I think when you're in a desperate position, maybe this is what you're looking for. Now we just gotta pray it doesn't hit the same unit. Holy cow. Honestly, it's just strictly better, I think, to have it guaranteed not to hit the same unit. Level 3 cassowary incoming at some point, maybe? I'm not going to freeze a strawberry for that. What do you mean at some point? We're going to lose. <laughs> what, what point would that be that you think that's going to... Don't move me to the front, you piece. Whatever, get killed. Now you get... Yeah, two pelican, you full bird build piece of you know what. Get donkeyed. Okay, the velociraptor has, has brought me back to respectability. No, 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 no. It's not, it's not all about the vulture here. We want a functional unit. One random strawberry friend? I don't think so. Let's have our hawk do some damage, okay? It also buffs the salamander. This would be a miracle to get to, like... To get to seven would be miraculous. What is this team? Am I scared? Kind of? I don't know if I should be. We win these thanks to the coconut armor. So that's six. That felt a little miraculous. You don't really have to exist. But if you're not, what are you doing? What am I doing here? What am I doing? I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm selling. I'm buying. I'm selling. Am I stat swapping? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Um... A fox? I think it's a little too late. We need something that does it all by itself. None, nothing here fits the bill, obviously. A lion simply will not work. In temporarium, give me a shoe bill for very small buffs. We should have bought the hot dog first, because the hot dog, as you just saw, hit a shoe bill. That's not something we would have... That was a genuine misplay. Could it come to pass? I said it would be a miracle... Miracles happen every day. It's more likely than you think. There's seven. 
Nothing here appeals to me. Nothing here appeals to me. Too late. Sure, but I'm being a bit of a hypocrite because I don't think that's really going to do it for us either. You know what? Guess what? Enjoy your tacos. Enjoy your small buffs. Small plates. Now I'm like, if we don't get to 10, it'll be a miracle. Like, my expectations have turned on a dime. Acceptable? Acceptable? Yo, it kind of goes hard, right? The donkey, when it, when it gets some coconut armor, it kind of goes hard. That's eight. This has been a very unorthodox video here. Might as well, but we need something better. Something better. Something better. Better. Better than... Why? We're so late in the game. Why are you giving me bad animals? Like, it's a slap in the face. I guess an anteater I would not describe as a bad animal, but, like, I can't keep going into rounds, like, buying one hot dog and rolling seven times. But, you know, sometimes it's the best decision with the, the data set that we have available to us. Coconut. Okay, you are... You're very strong. But killing... It, 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 oh, no, I don't know yet. We draw these. We draw these. Holy cow. I don't believe it. Come on, man. Give me something good. These are not good enough. I think. <laughs> Freeze me? We buy a taco instead of a hot dog this time. You might do something. An orca is close for me. You know what? Send it. Give it a try. We don't need to freeze tacos then. We can maximize our leverage on the rolls. Did something I'm looking for, yes. I, maybe we keep a strawberry frozen just in case we get the dream shop next time. Now, what are we hoping an orca spits out? I don't know. It just spitting out orcas over and over would go pretty hard. Huge. Huge. Not huge. Not huge. Not huge. What are you spitting out? Something with you? No! Still. To get where we did on that one feels good. I'm gonna go post this tweet. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. See ya.